Right, how shall we divide two fractions? Well, let's start off by illustrating our actual process of division using the bar bottle. Uh, so for example, 2 thirds divided by 5, and let's go ahead and take a look at that. We'll use a partitive division approach, so we're going to take 2 thirds and divide it into 5 equal pieces. So we'll start with our model for 2 thirds. We'll take a unit, divide it into 3 equal pieces. We'll take 2 of those equal pieces, so that's our model for 2 thirds. We want to divide it by 5, so that means that we want to divide this into 5 equal parts. So I'll do the division horizontally, and our division is to divide it into equal parts and then take one of those parts. So I'll go ahead and take that one part there. And let's consider how big this part is. This is two parts, two of these little rectangles, out of a total of 5, 10, 15 altogether. So this is 2 thirds divided by 5. It's going to be two parts each equal to 1 15th. And so 2 thirds divided by 5 is 2 fifteenths. Well, what if we're dividing by fractions? For example, let's start off with the whole number divided by fraction, 3 divided by 1 half. So I'll use a quotative division approach this time. So we'll find out how many pieces of size 1 half could fit into 3. And generally speaking, our quotative division approach is going to be a little bit easier to handle. So let's go ahead and take our bar representing 3. So now I have 1, 2, 3. And I want to find how many one-halves fit here. So one-half is just the unit divided into two parts. So here's my unit, and so now I've divided that into two pieces there. And while I'm at it, I might as well break the rest of them into size one-half. So here's my three, one, two, three. And it's been divided into, quotatively, pieces of size one-half. And now I could just count one, two, three, four, five, and six. So there's a total of six pieces, and so that tells me that three divided by one-half gives you six. Well, what about dividing a fraction by another fraction? So again, we'll take the fraction one-half divided by one-six, and again, it's convenient to take a quotative approach. How many of these does it take to make up this? So let's draw our one half, look something like that. And continuing our pattern of dividing both horizontally and vertically, I want to take a look at how big those one six pieces are. So we'll divide the bar into six parts and we'll take one of them. So remember, one half is this entire left or right, left side of the bar. One six consists of these two pieces here. And so I can handle my division. How many of these things do I need to make up one side? Well, let's go ahead and collapse that. So there's one, two, three. So I need three of the one sixth to make up one half. So one half divided by one sixth is going to be our quotient, which is equal to three. What if we try 3 over 4 divided by 2 over 7? Again, it's convenient to approach this problem quotatively, so we'll make our model of 3 fourths, looking something like that. Again, we'll need a model for 2 sevenths, and again, it's convenient if we take our divisions in two different directions. So 2 sevenths would be something like this. So again, there's my original divide into 4, divide by 7. This is two sevenths, and it turns out to be eight of these little rectangles here. So if I want to take my amount three quarters, how many of these eight blocks would it take? All right, let's start counting. So there's one block of eight, two blocks of eight. We don't have enough to make a third block of eight because the block of eight, there's only five rectangles left over before we fill up are two sevenths. So what's that going to be? Well, that's one, two, and five out of the eight pieces that we need. So that tells us that our quotient is going to be two and five eighths.